Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Jina Yang, I'm seeing today's Affirm Mechanism launching event, the Fire Management Forum follow-up reception. It is my great honor to stand before you to welcome distinguished guests, and I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to Deputy Minister Taeyeon Nam of the Korea Forest Service and Deputy Director General Maria Helena Semedo of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Also, my thanks go to all distinguished guests for your attendance as well. This event is a place for announcing a new cooperative project between FAO and the KFS on integrating management of forest-related risks. From now on, we will have opening remarks of the representatives of the two organizations, presentation to introduce the Affirm Mechanism, contribution agreement signing, and group photo session for about 30 minutes. I hope all of you will join with us until the end of the event. First, to start today's event, I would like to invite the Deputy Minister of KFS for the opening remarks. Please welcome Deputy Minister Taeyeon Nam to the stage with a big round of applause. It is great to be here. I am Taehyun Nam, Deputy Minister of the Korea Forest Service. First of all, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to Deputy Director General Maria Helena Semedo of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations for joining today's event. Also, my thanks goes to all personnel from the FAO and the KFS for organizing this event. As you may know, we should appropriately manage and protect forests in order to cope with um, crisis, including environmental change, climate change, biodiversity loss, desertification, and different uses of land. And we are seeing these damages going to biodiversity loss and resource loss. And in some countries, uh, this is th might threaten their food security as well. In March this year, massive wildfires broke out in Korea, causing severe damages around the world. We are witnessing a growing need for responding to uh, such risks in an integrated and efficient way than before. There is no country that is immune to such risks in the world, so we need to minimize this damage and rapidly respond. So, taking this into account, the FAO and KFS will announce a new cooperative project named Affirm Mechanism. And through this, we aim to help countries prevent, manage, and respond to various forest-related hazards. And we wish to utilize uh, Korea's experience and share this around the world. Many countries around the world have many crisis factors in forestry and in order for many countries to respond well to the challenges in forests, KFS has uh, been make, working very hard to support this. And I am confident that FAO also is exerting all of its efforts to this end. Through preparedness, I am sure that a firm mechanism will become a prime example of forest-related risk management in the world. I look forward to more countries and international organizations to participate in the Affirm Mechanism with great interest. Thank you very much. Thank you for your opening remarks, Deputy Minister. Next. I also would like to welcome Deputy Director General of FAO to the stage for the opening remarks. Please welcome Deputy Director General Maria Helena Semedo with a big round of applause. Again, good afternoon to 
to you, to all. Deputy Minister Tai Han, I hope I spell it correct. Dear participants, it is a great pleasure for me to be here with our partners at the Korean Forest Service to launch the Assuring the Future of Forest through Integrated Risk Management, called AFRAM mechanism. I would like to thank the Deputy Minister, Tai Han, for joining us. I know you have a very busy schedule this week, but this shows the importance of the Korea Forest Service to this important event. In countries around the world, forest sustainability is threatened by forest disturbance, including wildfire, insects, disease, drought, storm damage, flooding, and landslides. Risks to forests are interrelated and can have cascading effects. Keeping forests healthy and saving life, ecosystem, assets, and infrastructure by reducing risk and enhancing resilience to forest disturbance are key to achieving our collective climate, enhancing biodiversity and sustainable development goals. A more integrated approach to forest risk management is greatly needed. And I think we have just finished a forum discussion on the need to have this integrated and to move at scale. As we heard earlier today, during the Forest Fire Forum, we must shift our focus from mostly emergency response to sustainable forest and land management practices that reduce risk, enhance readiness, and facilitate recovery. The firm mechanism is a key contribution by the Korea Forest Service to do just that. It will help strengthen countries' capacities to anticipate and manage wildfires and other risk to forests through integrated risk management practices using the combined skills and expertise of the Korea Forest Service, the Asian Forest Cooperation Organization, and other key partners. FAO has developed a roadmap to the firm mechanism for the next four years, which will be presented today. A firm will be piloted in three countries where the Asian Forest Cooperation Organization and FAO have long-term engagement and scaled out to other countries and regions. Lessons from a firm will feed directly into the global fire management platform, which, as announced in the last section, is being co-developed by FAO and UNEP. The strategic, this strategic investment helped position the Republic of Korea as an early mover in a global effort to scale up integrated fire management and address all risk to forests in a more holistic way. And we thank the, the, Korea, the Republic of Korea for this contribution and for sharing your experience with the world. And we, we thank again the Korea Forest Service for your trust, your support, and we look forward to working with you to make a firm mechanism a reality. And we also make a call to other partners to join this initiative. Thank you, and we hope will be a successful example we can share. Too. Thank you for your warm message, Deputy Director General. I firmly believe that the affirm mechanism will play a crucial role in enhancing developing countries' capacity to manage the forest-related risks, including, including forest fires. Following the opening remarks, I would like to have Dr. Peter Moore, FAO's fire management consultant at this podium. He will introduce the Affirm Mechanism. Please welcome Dr. Peter Moore with a big round of applause. Uh, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure and an honour to be able to briefly describe what, it, what the Affirm Mechanism will be. So if I can have the presentation, please. 
Oh, sorry, next, next slide. So a couple of things to point out that we're here today and we'll sign an agreement and it's fantastic, but it's taken a couple of years to get that together. The idea originally came from Korea, uh, from Song Hee Nam, who may be here today, who initiated that, and then we built on it and talked to Korea and so on. And that's part of the story. These things take some time to bring together. The vision is to design and develop and establish, as Mr. Mato mentioned, an internationally applicable mechanism and to, to mitigate or prevent the damage and loss of large-scale forest disturbances through risk management, through integrated risk management. A firm will look at many other things than just wildfires, but because there's a body of expertise and a history of expertise in Korea and elsewhere, as we've seen all through the day today, we'll start the firm mechanism looking at wildfires. Next slide, please. So what is it that we're going to be, we're going to be doing? Systematic and scientific information on forest-related risks is to be collected to enable the understanding required for risk management. Ms. Samoto mentioned about moving from investment in, in emergency response to prevention. In order to do that, we need information, we need knowledge. We develop the platform as a knowledge, for knowledge management in a digital form, digital forum, that'll make that available beyond the pilot countries. The idea is to build this into the region and then beyond the region and to, to work it up. There'll be capacity building for a firm in developing countries to strengthen the capacity to understand and reduce risk. Capacity to fight fires, capacity to work with equipment is reasonably well developed, strongly developed in many places. But understanding and reducing risk and responding effectively and undertaking restoration in particular is not. So the, the firm uh, collaboration will conduct risk assessments, it'll assess hazard, exposure and vulnerability in pilot countries and it'll identify the risk reduction activities that arise from that analysis. Next slide please. What are the outcomes? There'll be three pilot areas, as was mentioned by Ms. Samato, established with integrated risk management plans. Summary documents of methodologies for conducting integrated risk, uh, for the assessments and recommendations for risk reduction actions will be available for international use. These methodologies will be from Korea, of course, but also from elsewhere in the region. Today we've seen some really good ideas and some good practices from Thailand, from Timor-Leste uh, and from elsewhere in the region. And a firm, as was mentioned, will be feeding into the global fire management platform. If we do all this work and we, we tap into this expertise that Korea has and the experience it has, and we partner with AFICO to do that, we may as well make it as widely available as is possible. Next slide, please. So who will be doing what? So the Korea Forest Service has provided the support, including the intellectual input, for this first phase of the AFFIRM mechanism. And we're considering a pilot site in Korea, a place where we can bring people and they can see what and how and when Korea does what it does. The FAO will assist in the design and the development of the AFFIRM and ensure it feeds into that global platform that we've talked about. And it'll be co-led, that platform, as was mentioned, will be co-led by FAO and UNEP in collaboration with KFS and then other partners. Uh, we'd very much welcome more, more assistance and more input. AFRICO and FAO will be collaborating on the implementation of the AFFIRM in the pilot countries and, for the, and up to the global level to lead and prepare those three demonstration areas, prepare the plans, source the methodologies, uh, develop methodologies perhaps for integrated risk assessment and then identify those risk reduction actions and the sort of steps and tasks that we will take collaboratively with the countries uh, to do those things. Next slide please. So thank you very much. Uh, it's a brief summary of what we'll be doing in the first phase and we look forward to getting down to work. Thank you very much. Thank you for a great presentation, Dr. Peter Moore. Next, we will have the contribution agreement signing ceremony. Deputy Minister and Deputy Director General, please come forth onto the stage. This agreement will confirm that 
KFS and FAO implement the AFFIRM mechanism together through contributions provided by KFS from 2022 to 2025. Now the ag agreement has been signed. We will have a photo session. First, taking a photo with the only representatives, then we will have a group photo with all personnel from the two organization. First, with the mask, and second, without the mask, we will take your photo. Thank you. And please, all staff of FAO and KFS come forth onto the stage to take a group photo together. Uh, without, without mask, we will have a group photo together. For active cooperation between the two organizations, please let us give a round round of applause to the, each other. Thank you very much. Please, all of you, return to your seats. Thank you very much. This is the end of the Affirm Mechanism launch event. Today, the Affirm Mechanism was officially launched. I hope that numerous countries around the world will join this project with great interest. Once again, I would like to convey my sincere appreciation for your kind presence, and I wish you will enjoy the rest of the World Forestry Congress with a fruitful and meaningful moments. Thank you very much.